All right, what's going on YouTube? Um, I'm back and I'm gonna do something a little different here. Um, I've got a scope that I'm gonna kind of talk about here. Miapo sent me this. It's a Ma Miapo um, Optin 6, or however you, however you pronounce that um, scope. It's got a 30 millimeter um, tube and it is uh, Mule Bright coating, Mule Bright coating uh, shield um, hydropic coating, MOA or mills is basically what, it, you know, the features are zero reset windage and elevation, zero stop on select available locking adjustments and in, includes adjustments and removable throw lever. And they say it's waterproof and nitrogen purged. So this is kind of what it comes in. Um, they have a lifetime warranty. Talk about the scope here a little bit. Um, so yeah, let's get in. I haven't looked at it yet. Oh, here we go. Here's some. Here's the other. Let's see if I can do this without. There we go. So four and a half by twenty-seven by fifty, and you can see the reticle there. Um, so yeah, that's the scope. Let's uh, let's get to talking about it here take a look at it um, pretty nice packaging I mean it's very well packaged so all right so first off um, a better view of the world let's see what we got here looks like we got a, a lens wipe and a battery oh, what did it say better view of the world battery for illuminated reticle Let's see what else we got here uh, looks like a couple options for the throw lever. The Oppo sticker. Uh, protect your product, stay up to date kind of thing there. And then a manual. So. Um, let's, all right, let's see. So. End of the end of the box there. Let's look and see what we got here. All right, looks like it comes with some scope caps. That's always nice. Man, this is a heavy, heavy, heavy scope. I'm gonna have to look and see how much it weighs. But man, this thing just looks like it's built nice. Man, the throw lever, I like how, oh man, that thing turns so nice. Numbers are good good and easy to see. So they got a bunch of different spots here, right? For your throw lever, that's really nice. That is a really nice method. And here's your focus. Um, and then we got our parallax here which is stiff, but not stiff, right? So it's not easily gonna just, you know, bump on you. Um, illuminator reticle. Let's see if they, let's see, I'll go ahead and we'll, we'll throw one in there in a second. Battery in there possibly. Um, but man, this thing is, this thing's nice. Let's see if the owner's manual says how heavy this thing is or if that box does. Let's see here. does not say on the box let's see I don't see the weight but I'm gonna I'm gonna put it on the screen right here I'll, I'll look it up and throw it on the screen so we'll have the weight of this um, on that so like I said it's four and a half to 27 man that moves so nice and this is kind of like a rubbery grip I really like that and same with these. It's not like all metal. It's like rubbery, so it's like actually really nice. Ooh, that's a really good clicking. Let's see here. You can really feel that. And you can hear it, which is nice. So that's on the stop right now. Oh, you have to, oh, you have to go up. Nice. So it's, I mean, this thing this thing is nice. And we're going to go down. Uh, okay, let's see here. So here we go. 
So we got that. We'll, that's where you put your battery. And you've got some different levels for illumination, which is really nice. Uh, guys, this is looking like a pretty nice scope. Um, it's got some weight, probably. But it might be a little heavy for your, you know, your average like backpacking, hiking. But I uh, could go out predator hunting or getting into competition. This is probably a pretty scope. This is a good scope for the money. It's you know right around 700 500 to 700 bucks i think depending where you're going to find it um let's see here can we get probably not see through the reticle here let's see here yeah, probably not right yeah, oh, oh maybe uh, i kind of see there let's see if we can but anyways um, well, let's, well, let's fix, focus our, our, um, parallax here. Maybe, maybe get it. Anyways, well, that's the reticle. I mean, I don't know how much we can actually see, but this thing sure, ooh, this thing sure crisp. Um, can't, it's, I'm not doing it justice on the camera there. Um, but man, this, this is seeming to be looking like a really nice scope. This is just a first view of it. Um, this is going to go on in a, uh, one of my ARs for a 204 Ruger. We're going to be seeing a bunch of videos on coming up soon. Um, so, guys, um, I think that's going to kind of do it for this. Um, just kind of like jumping in, seeing what it was about, seeing kind of what it's like. And then we'll get into it more when we actually get it on the gun and we go uh, do some shooting with it. But I'm, I'm pretty impressed with this thing. Just feels solid, man. It's like... You could, like, and man, if your gun's not working, take that thing off and club somebody with that thing. Um, so, all right, guys. Um, that's going to do it for this. Um, no, probably not very informative, but that's kind of what you get. Talk about it. Talk about it more when we go into uh, getting, on a, getting on a gun. All right, guys. I'll take you later.